Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I am excited for a few reasons. But um, first, this video I'm going to be swatching the two Glam Light Scooby Doo palettes. Um, so yeah, be prepared to see this shirt a few times today because I am planning on swatching. Uh, doing a few videos of the swatchings of the palettes I uh, hauled yesterday. Um, so yeah, I figured I'd, I'm going to try to shoot them all today because my little brother is coming into town. Um, he's moving down here, him and his family. And they're going to be here tonight. And they're going to be staying with us for a few days to a week um, until while they're... Um, place gets ready and their um, stuff gets here for the movers so it's gonna be really busy so I figured I would film videos today um, and then I can upload them just whenever so anyway on to the swatches so these are the Scooby-Doo um, and Glam Light palettes I have the two little ones I didn't buy the big one I just have the two little ones um, one of them is the Creeps and Crawls, and the other one is called Rut Row Raggy. I think I will start with the Rut Row Raggy um, palette. This is the outside. I like the trees and the bats, and I like the color, and I like, I, I just love the packaging. I like Scooby Doo. The bats look really cool. And if you open it up, the mirror. The mirror looks really cool. It's got that little guy on it. And then this is the palette. It's super pretty. So I am going to start, I guess I'll just do row by row. So I'll do the top row of all the glitters first and then the bottom row of all the mattes second. And yeah. So I'm going to swatch them. I haven't swatched these yet, so. And none of these have names. Um, I'll just have to, like, I'll point. Um, the little plastic thing, I got rid of the little plastic thing, but they were just numbered, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you know, 1 through 10. So, I mean, they don't have names, so. Oh, well, that one feels good. These shimmers feel so good. Wow, these are super pretty. Like they are so soft. I never finish this little shit. Um, they are so soft and just so pretty. And Oh my gosh. Okay. So here is the first row. Like I said, they are all shimmers. This is my fingers afterwards. These are the two I use. This one's a little bit stained from this last one. So looking at this, the swatches, I'm going to start with like this one and then work. So this one's number one. It is a darker purple. It is super pretty. And then this one is number two. A little bit lighter, more on like the lavender side. In the pan, they look very similar. Like you can tell they're different, but they look similar. So I'm glad that they are so super different in the swatches. Um, and then this one, kind of like a lime green. This one's like a little bit more like grass green. And then this one is like deep, like what I would consider like shamrock green. Or like... um St. Patrick's Day green but that's again what the shimmers look like in the pan and oh they're so pretty okay so I'm going to pause get this clean up and then we'll see how it stains I'm assuming I'm thinking the shamrock one is gonna stain a little bit considering that's what my finger looks like so but we will uh, see and I'll be back in just a second all right I am back and here's my hand um, I don't know how well it's showing up on camera but there is a little bit of green standing right here and a little bit of purple right here 
So, and my fingers are still a little bit stained. All right, so now I'm gonna do the bottom row of the mats and we're gonna see how those go. And I really like um, that they kind of correspond a little, you know, not entirely, but a little. The mats feel really good. The shimmers were really, really like smooth and really nice. And these are also um, pretty smooth and nice. It's kind of like that. Okay. Okay, so here are the mats, and here are my fingers after. Again, this is what the mats look like, and this was just a swatch on my hand. So we have like a dark purple, a more like periwinkle purple, kind of a lime green, kind of the... Uh, grass shamrocky green and then this is more of a black but not quite black it's like a black with a little bit of green in it maybe so yeah I do like how they kind of correspond to the shimmer colors so you could easily make like a an easy little two shadow look if you wanted so yeah the mattes didn't swatch as well as the shimmers did but they still looked really good and also to the swatch yeah but it's how they perform on the eye which matters so I will pause this really quickly take this off show it to you and then I'll talk to you for a minute about this palette and then I'll go on to the next all right I am back I actually had to go and like kind of wash my hand a little bit because it was so stained it's still stained right here a little and like my finger is still a little bit stained this one um, where it was like that really dark shade but like I had to go actually like it wouldn't come off my hand so I had to go kind of like really run it under some water. So this one, the Rut Row Raggy palette, which is the one I just swatched, I really, really like. I really like the color scheme. I really like, you know, the shimmers are what really make the palette for me. Um, personally, the mattes, they're pretty colors, um, but they are a little eh like in the swatching department at least compared to the, the shimmers the shimmers are so freaking good um these shimmers are freaking good i really like the shimmers so this one is definitely one for me anyone wondering i did buy this from glam light it, it was on sale it was like 23 dollars for both palettes um, marked down from i think 30 um but i'm not 100 percent sure if you can still get the scooby-doo stuff um you'd have to look when I upload this video, I'll look and I'll put it in the description below if at the time of me uploading this video, you can still get it. So the next one is the Creeps and Crawls palette. I love the outside of this with the haunted house and the bats and then Shaggy running away. Um, I don't know. I like the haunted house in the background of this one, like super. And then this one's color story is also just so good. I don't know. These two color stories to me, like, oh, and then the mirror's got like the witch on it, which I think is super cool. These two color stories to me just are good, you know? They're just like, look at them together, so good. But I don't know, I just, this color story is so pretty. And these shimmers, like I said, I'm not gonna lie, the shimmers were the biggest reason I wanted these palettes like their color stories are just so pretty um in general but the shimmers just the look of the shimmers is what really pulled me in on these palettes but like look at that so pretty all right so I'm going to do like I did last time where I'm going to swatch all of the um shimmers first and then do the mattes 
And like the first one, the shimmers are just beautiful and so soft. Now also too, I will say these shimmers are very soft, like almost to the point of almost being, I don't want to say too soft, but like you don't need to rub hard. You just barely rub and the, it's just beautiful. So don't be thinking you gotta like really get up in there because you do not. Ooh, that one might be my favorite. Like, I am barely touching these and getting this payoff. So these are my fingers afterwards. This one's already stained, remember, but that one got a little stained right now. But look at these. Look at the shine. Okay, so I'm going to show you again. And the swatches start with this one and go this way. So this is the first one. This like this one has a purple in it too. Like this one, I don't know what to say this color is. Maybe periwinkle almost. This very first one right here. Then this one's just like a deep grapey um purple with like this blue kind of glitter in it. Then this one is super pretty. The third one, it's it's kind of like a teal color in the pan. It's this one. And on the skin, it's got that blue teal, but it's like almost like one of those like shifty colors. And then this deeper one is like more green. And then this purple one right here is actually, it looks purple in the pan, but on my hand, it looks more pink. It is so pretty. I do wish the shadows had names because this describing them would be a little bit easier because I could be like, oh, such and such color. Is this one, you know, I wouldn't have to be like, and then the next one, and the middle one, and the third, you know, I just, I kind of wish they had names. Alright, so I'm going to um, pause, take this off, and then we'll see how my hand looks when I'm done. Okay, I am back. Here is my hand. It's a little dirty still. Um, my fingers are still a little stained. So, oh my good. <sighs> Excuse me. So, with that being said, I'm going to go with the... Um, second row with the mats now. Again, the mats feel really nice. They're not scratchy or anything. They feel really good. And even with the mats, like, you, you need to, like, it, they're not as soft as like say the shimmers where you like barely need any pressure at all you still don't need hardly any pressure with these um but you do need to kind of rub just a little bit more okay this is the matte row and this is my fingers afterwards the last three really so again the swatches go from this one to this one and based on the other swatches of the shimmers, like to make them like more matchy, I feel this one and this one, if they were switched, it would work a little bit better. Like if you were doing just one, two, one, two, one, two. Um, but I love it. I like how this one is kind of like a pinky one. And then this one is almost berry. This teal is really pretty. And then this dark blue and then this dark purple they're really pretty though I do have a feeling that between the dark purple and the darker blue and maybe even the teal a little bit I have a feeling it's gonna stain really bad so I'm going to pause real quick wipe my hand show you and then I will tell you guys okay guys I am back this is my hand it is pretty stained um, again, I don't know how much of you can actually see on camera, but in person, you can see it. It almost looks like I have a bruise on my hand. And then my fingers are still stained. Um, after this, I'm going to actually go and like really wash my hands and try to get all this pig pigment off. Um, but really though, these palettes, I'm thoroughly impressed with them. 
Um, so far, I can't wait to see how the mattes perform on the eyes, um, considering that when they, they were a little, um, a little, like with the swatches, they were a little, I don't want to say patchy, but they weren't, some of them weren't as pigmented and some of them were a little bit patchy. But, um, so I'm curious to see how the mattes will work on the eyes, but honestly, the shimmers really stole the show for me. The five shimmers in each one of these palettes just stole the show for me. And quite frankly, the price I paid for these palettes, if the mattes end up not being like my favorite mattes and I end up using say different palettes and only using the the shimmers from these it'd still be worth it to me with the price I paid for them so that's just my personal opinion I really do hope the mattes um perform well on the eyes just because it would be easier and because these mattes go so well with these shimmers um I really hope that the mattes do end up working out but like I said before, if for whatever reason the mattes aren't the best and I'm only using the shimmers from these palettes with the price I paid, still totally worth the price. So yeah, um, I will talk to everyone later. I'm going to go wash my hands and maybe film another swatching video. I haven't decided yet. Okay, I'll talk to everyone later. Bye.